Yeah. Something interesting is you can actually operate these phones with a touch screen. In close. Anyway. Right, so what we've done is we cut that off. We cut it off from there. And the other weld is on the other side of it. So I just cut Where's it at? So we cut a section of it. We basically cut it using that. Yeah, we cut the actual plate off. And then oh, here we are. Right, and then what we did is we cut that back. So that was actually on uh, <coughs> it's on the other side, right? Right, but it's basically I've cut a section out and then re-welded it, but this actually came from the other side of that that plate there, okay? And then we've re-welded that back on, but before we did that, we spent some time trying to make sure that that is true. It doesn't matter what's happening back here, so long as this business here is true. Right, so when we connect it up to a generator, it's not going to start, you know, wobbling it around. Okay. And, uh Look at that. Hey, hey, hey. Perfect. It isn't perfect. It's slightly out, because when I take that away from the bar, you'll see that it's actually slightly off. But we can re through it back up again. I can... Ooh. Oh, no, I can't do it with them. <laughs> hey, making right mess of that. Let me just uh, try and. Uh, there we go. Now I've got my glove on it, and, and you can see that it's completely stationary. I mean, there will be there will be movement, right? But I'll be buggered if you can see it. I'll get right in there. Look at me just trying to get the lens right in, so you can see right across it. And look at that and hold this as steady as possible you can see that basically through the left eye camera right that that is pretty on isn't it i don't think i don't think the generator is going to complain if it gets that because that's not moving at all right what we've done of course we've done an old trick of actually mounting it on the back of the flywheel so that we can get it trued up from there now this is wobbling a bit as you'll probably be able to see and it might even be wobbling a little bit at this end Right, probably not much, but the, the trick is to make sure that that and this aren't moving, and they're not. Which means the geometry is correct, even if it's slightly out, the geometry of this shaft is correct. Yeah, we don't care if that moves around a bit, because uh, it's quite light. I'm going to stop it because I'm, a lot of friction going on in there. But it doesn't matter if, the, if this tube is, because this tube is quite light, so if it's off centre, well, it's not too big a deal. But if this is off centre, then that's going to shake the bearings in the uh, in the generator, and we're not going to have that. And I measured it up, and basically, I, I, the bit that I cut off, right, which is about eight centimetres. <coughs> okay, this is where I was going to mount it, and as you can see, I've got plenty to spare because the idea is to make sure it doesn't that. So we're all right, and obviously that sinks into there, so we're okay. So this is really good. So I'm now going to take it off take all this apart and then put that end in and then just re-true this plate again and then everything should be perfect.